Hello. Welcome to Chargebee. In this video, we are going to learn about configuring offline payments in Chargebee. Offline payments are transactions processed asynchronously. Here the transaction is done offline and reconciled manually or automatically to the console. Therefore there is a delay in paying offline and its reconciliation, compared to online payments where everything happens in real time. Let's say a customer checks out with cash as the preferred offline payment method. You might be wondering how the payment instructions should be conveyed, how to follow up with them for payment, and how to reconcile in Chargebee after receiving a payment offline. Let us see how to configure this. Click Settings. Configure Chargebee and you can find the new offline payment methods page. We are going to enable this first. Let's enable cash payment method. You can alter the payment methods name over here. The additional information field holds details about the payment method, and is displayed on emails and checkout. You can also select the currencies for which the payment method should be displayed. As a global setting for all offline payments, you can set a threshold amount so that offline payment methods are displayed only when the total amount to be paid exceeds the threshold amount. Click Apply to save the settings. We now have to display the offline payment methods in Checkout and Portal. For that, navigate to the Checkout Settings page by clicking Enable under Next Steps, and Enable allow customers to use offline payment methods to display offline payment methods in Checkout. Users can now select a preferred offline payment method during Checkout and complete the purchase. Enable this option to display the additional information configured earlier for the respective offline payment methods. Enable this option to allow existing customers to select a preferred offline payment method. This works only when the customer does not have any other online payment methods configured. Enabling this will show offline payment methods only when checkout pages are created via API. Disabling this setting will show offline payment method even while using an app checkout. Next. To make offline payment methods accessible in the self-serve portal, navigate to Portal Settings. Enable allow customers to switch from online to offline payment methods and vice versa to allow switching from offline to online payment methods and the other way around, while using the self-serve portal. Click Publish to save all the changes. Now that we have configured offline payments to be displayed in Checkout and Portal, Let's look at how to add a preferred offline payment method manually to a customer record in the Chargebee interface. Navigate to the Customer Details page. Click Change Customer Details, make sure Auto Collection is turned off, and then select a preferred offline payment method to be added for that customer. Click Update Customer. Next, we will look at how to reconcile the payments collected offline. Navigate to the respective invoice and select Record Payment. Fill in the necessary details and select Proceed to update invoice with the payment. For ACH and SEPA credit transfer, payments are automatically reconciled to the respective invoice. To display the relevant payment instructions on the invoice PDF, navigate to Invoices, Credit Notes and Quotes section. Select the Invoices tab. Under Configure Payment Instructions choose only Preferred Payment Method Instructions. Then add the payment instruction by clicking Add. Save the changes. Click Apply Changes to save the configurations made. Next, to notify the customer about the offline payment method chosen during checkout, navigate to Email Notifications. Choose Onboarding Emails. Select Add Section and choose Offline Payment Details. This section displays details about the offline payment method selected during checkout and the additional information associated with it. Next, to follow up with the customer on offline payments you need to enable Offline Dunning. You can enable Offline Dunning by navigating to Settings, Configure Chargebeat Dunning for Online, Offline Payments, Select Dunning for Offline Payments and click Enable. 
You can select your Dunning configuration such as duration and what happens to invoices and subscriptions once the Dunning period ends. Once you have done this, navigate to the email notifications page. Select Dunning for offline payments to configure emails related to this. With this we come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching.